Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank. Can I have your forecast? If you're going to be uh, traveling around or doing anything in the next few days, we could pretty much get the idea of what's going to be going on for the rest of your Sunday and as we conclude February and begin the month of March this upcoming week. Well, so far in February, it's certainly, as you know, been a very warm month. The mean temperature is an astonishing plus 5.7 with every single day this past week, as we told you last weekend, every single day would get a red square. We certainly have had that. And we had a day yesterday which had 13 degrees above the average. And it looks like the rest of the month will have red squares as well. Even today, with it only around 40 to 41 degrees, the overnight low wasn't that low. So I think it'll just squeak in slightly into red territory to you here or just flat. But in any event, three more very warm days coming up. So what does that mean for this February? Well, these are the, this is the list of the warmest Februarys on record. 1925 was the warmest. 1984 was the second warmest. Then, more recently, 2012 was a blowtorch winter. The whole winter, not just February, but also all the fall, through the whole winter, every single month. And March was the warmest of all. It was a crazy plus 8 degrees above average. So 2012, you know what's going to happen? We've gone into this position now with yesterday's warm weather and the mean temperature of 37 flat. It looks like this is over the next few days it's going to end up at probably in the number two position. So it looks like it may get the silver medal. Not sure if we'll get the gold, whether it'll go up there up to 38.1, but with three warm days ahead, it's going to be really close. And we had the warm weather yesterday, which uh, cer certainly cemented us going into the fifth position. Uh, the 50s yesterday, but this afternoon only around 40 degrees close to Boston and 30s north and west to mid 40s on Cape Cod. The rest of the country is not all that bad. No extreme cold, but it is rather chilly in the Rocky Mountains. It's very warm along the eastern seaboard, especially down in Florida, where it's been basically very warm to hot much of this winter, an unusually warm winter with hardly any cold snaps at all. Well, this front heading into the southeast will create some scattered showers and storms today. Not as much severe weather as what was produced yesterday. For us, we had this unsettled weather across the northeast with its mainly rain into the afternoon hours. We've already had a coating up to a half to three quarters of an inch of snow across northern Massachusetts in spots with a little bit of a layer of uh, ice pellets on top of that and basically transitioning over to rain uh, as the day goes along. A little bit of ice buildup, a little ice accretion perhaps in the higher elevations of the Berkshires and possibly a few of the Worcester Hills where some of the cold air is locked in there a little bit, but not a really bona fide ice storm that would cause any power outages. That's the way it looks right now. So rainfall from this system will be amounting to about six tenths of an inch to nine tenths of an inch by the time we're over. And most of it's going to be winding down by the first, by the middle of this upcoming afternoon. So at midday, it's still coming down, coming down hard at times. And then it winds down to just showers by mid-afternoon. And by late afternoon, it's just areas of drizzle. As a storm center, you can see it right there. The circulation actually comes right up. It's a secondary storm that's going to be developing. So it'll come right up over Cape Cod and the islands. You can see that counterclockwise motion in the little uh, arrows here, indicative of the airflow. So that low is going to move off like that. And when it's near, it may cause some areas of fog. But then later tonight, as it moves farther away and dry air comes in, it's all, all going to be clearing up. So by the time you head off to work and back to school for those down here in Massachusetts for tomorrow, the temperatures will be down in the 30s. So it's not going to be terribly cold when you head out tomorrow morning. And it's going to start warming up. We're going to be going up to 52 to 54 degrees across the region with plenty of sunshine. After we get rid of some morning high cloudiness, which may be filtering the sun a bit tomorrow morning, the afternoon will turn a lot sunnier. Tuesday will be sunny and starting off on the chillier side in the upper 20s and lower 30s, and then it should be bouncing up to around 50 or so. Let's jump to the end of the week, uh, which would be the second day of March on Friday. There'll be twin storms here. The energy is going to come into this storm and combine to make this one blockbuster storm, but where it's going to be positioned will be all important to us because obviously the closer to us, the bigger storm we're going to have. But it's all dependent upon the big block building in, in, in um, up here in Greenland, which is tending to push this. It'll force this more on a southerly track. If it goes more southerly, we don't get much out of it. If that block doesn't force it enough, we'll get quite a storm here because the jet stream is going to evolve itself into a very intriguing pattern here. Very high amplitude omega type pattern here. And um, forcing storms on a more southerly track over the next two or three weeks into March. And so sometimes these 
blocks and uh, patterns evolve into or produce and create some of our big March snowfalls. We'll have to see how it all shakes out, but right now we're sort of on the fence whether it's going to be a close storm to give us a big one. We have to watch out the tides at the end of the week because they're running pretty high due to astronomical conditions, not the highest tides of the week, but still enough to cause some coastal flooding. We'll talk about that as we go along, but the next three days enjoy tomorrow through Wednesday, ending up a fabulous month of February on the very, very warm and sunny side. Uh, you can watch WBZ News tonight at 6.30 and 11 o'clock, and you can see it also at 8 o'clock on my TV 38 for the latest weather and news updates. Have a nice rest of the weekend.